All right, folks, that's stacked right there. That's gonna be the false beams that's in that little old house I've been working on right there. Still gotta be stained and painted. That'll be that little thin trim I'm gonna put like right up against the ceiling. And then that way it'll cover up any black cracks or something like that because you know you can't caulk it. It would look uh, look a little strange. So I'm gonna just use that that small trim. That way I can I can fill in the voids and everything. Oh, y'all excuse the mess in the shop right here, but it's about a thousand degrees, and I've been working on <coughs> I don't know how many things at one time, and I needed something else to do, so I'm working on a. Uh, I throw an axe target or throw a knife or hatchet or whatever you want to call it. But I had a bunch of uh, stuff that I'd cut on the mill, some four by eight stuff, and it was it was real twisted, so it was hard to use for anything. But, you know, cutting it into short lengths like that, it works fine. But it was just really twisted up. So I took one 12-footer and just cut it into that right there. And I'm going to make a target out of it. Now, it's not finished. It's just it's just propped up there right now, just, just stacked up. But uh, each block is four by four by eight. It's four inches thick, four inches wide, and eight inches tall. And I'm gonna wrap it with probably a treated two by four all the way around the outside right there. You know, just framing in with that. And I'll probably put some, maybe some rough cut one by eight or something on the back and then screw through the one by eight into each block. That way I can just back that screw out if one of them gets bust or, you know, busted up or something. I can just back that screw out and slide another block in there. I am concerned about the weather swelling this thing up because it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna be something that you're gonna tote back and forth and put in the shed. It's gonna be heavy when it's done. And I was just gonna go ahead and ground mount it and that way the wind won't blow it over or whatever. Just set it on like treated post on this outside. And, and I'll possibly put, I don't know, if you put a, if I put a piece of tin or something, you know, a little roof on it or something to keep the water off of it, it's gonna, you know, that'll be where I stick my axe or hatchet or whatever will be in that tin top. So I got to figure out something. Thought about waxing it or Thompson's water seal or some kind of stain so the water won't penetrate it. And you know what I'm saying? It just, it'll swell up and then it'll start busting the frame all the way around the outside. But I'll figure out something. I'll figure out somehow to keep the water off of it. So uh, that's what I'm working on today. Y'all hang in there. I'll see if I can't get this thing put together and we'll see what it looks like. I have to have 14 people to put it in the truck. It's gonna be pretty heavy, I would imagine. But I toted it in here, 12 foot, uh, four by eight. But uh, once I get the legs and all on it, it's probably gonna be pretty stout. Anyway, y'all hang in there. I'm gonna put this thing together real quick. All right, there it is. I got my treated belt rail around the outside. All I was using is just some scrap stuff. So it's not, uh, there's ain't nothing on this thing brand new. Oh, two inch screws in the back, just something to hold those blocks in place. You don't want to go anything, you know, long because you don't want your blade to ever even touch the tip of one of those screws and, you know, burger the tip of your blade on whatever you're throwing. Oh, I did do something wrong though. When I had it set up over there, I had all the knots turned to the back side and I ended up screwing all my wood to the back side. Well, it should have been the front, so now I've got knots on this side, so I'll have to unscrew these with the knots on them because, well, I'll show you in just a second what I'm talking about. But uh, I'm going to have to put some kind of treatment on this because this being in grain, it's going to suck it. It's going to sponge it up because it's built for pulling water out of the ground, you know, this tree is. And uh, every drop of water that hits it, it's going to it's going to soak it up, it's going to swell up, and it's going to bust this outside frame. So I'm going to try to maybe put something in here or... Uh, Burn oil, wax, water seal, stain, something on this thing to, uh, you know, just to repel as much water as we can. And then that way it'll last. And I can pull the boards off the backside and I'll do the backside too, you know, because it's gonna, it's gonna run, it's gonna get in there. Water's gonna get in there one way or the other. And if it gets on the backside, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna suck it up. Or like you was talking about, you know, we could put a little tin top on it. Though I did make it big enough that maybe I could miss the tin top if I did put it on there, and then that would help. Uh, that would help preserve it. You know, make it last longer because it will swell and bust that outside frame. I would imagine. But the reason that uh, the knots. Let me show you. I'm dropping this knife. What? Twelve inches, fourteen inches, maybe. She'll stick every time. But. Watch this. It will not stick in a knot. But I've got a, oh, 
got to order in at Cold Steel. They've got a bunch of hatchets and throwing knives and just all kind of stuff. So uh, as soon as that comes in, uh, I'll show y'all how to uh, not throw an axe or a hatchet. But I've got to learn anyway. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I'm going to put a post on this side and a post on that side and probably hub it up in the ground about two foot, just something to uh, hold it. That way the wind won't blow it over because as heavy as it is now, it's going to really be uh, awkward to try to carry it and put it in the barn every time it rains or when you get finished with it. So I'm just going to stick it up in the yard and I'll leave it, you know. I think that's something. I did get a chance to do this one time and I really, really liked it all. I didn't get to throw, but you know, just a few times and it was all uh, with hatchets and it was, it was cool. It was cool. So been wanting to do it and uh, looked on Cold Steel's website and found all that stuff. And I said, man, I've got to, I got to do this with all this extra time that I don't have. But you know, everybody's doing cornhole and stuff like that. And that's cool too. But uh, this would be something different that you could add, you know, put in the yard and everybody get out there and I'll just have a good time. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Appreciate y'all. All right, folks. What I did is I went ahead and I had finished that video and I said, well, I'll go ahead and just spin those blocks around. So I just back the screws out, turn the blocks around and put the knots to the backside. So now we should be good. Ready to rock and roll. All right, again. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all got to do one of these right here. Y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all.